welcome to this video of mathematics. In this session, we will learn about the polynomials and their classification according to their power. That is, degree of polynomials. In the last class, we learnt about algebraic expressions. These are a few examples. In the given expressions, x, y and z are called variables. Numbers associated with these variables are called coefficients. And the numbers whose values are fixed are called constants. Now, if we focus on the powers of these variables, these are positives, negatives and fractions. And friends, the only difference between polynomials and expressions is that the power of variables in polynomials is always a whole number, whereas the power of variables in expressions can be any number. Here, we have to focus on one thing, that all polynomials are expressions, but not all expressions are polynomials. Friends, in the given examples, polynomials are in one variable only, and such type of polynomials are called as polynomials in one variable. Can a polynomial be in the form of two or more variables? Yes, but we will learn those polynomials in higher classes. General form of polynomials is expressed in this manner, where x is called variable. An, an minus 1, a1 are coefficients and a0 is a constant. Polynomials are expressed as p of x, q of x or according to the variables p of y, r of y or r of t, q of t. Polynomials are also classified based on the number of terms present in the polynomials. Such as monomial, binomial, trinomial, etc. Similarly, polynomials are classified based on the degree of polynomial. Such as polynomials having degree 1 are called linear polynomials. Polynomials having degree 2 are called quadratic polynomials and polynomials having degree 3 are called cubic polynomials. Friends, if you observe the general form of these polynomials, it has been stated that A should not be 0. Do you know why? If A becomes 0, then the degree of polynomials reduces by 1. If, in the general form of cubic polynomial, we put 0 in the place of A, then its degree reduces by 1 and becomes quadratic polynomial. Similarly, quadratic will become linear and linear will become constant polynomial. Let's assume that there is an expression whose power is 0. For example, 5 times x to the power of 0. Then, would it be a polynomial? During such dilemmas, we should focus on the definition which says that if the power of any expression is a whole number, then the expression is a polynomial and 0 is a whole number. Hence, it is a polynomial. The value of x to the power of 0 in 5 times x to the power of 0 is 1. That is, 5 times x to the power of 0 equals to 5 means any number can be written as the polynomial with power 0. Now, this means that constant or numbers are also polynomials. They are called constant polynomial. Is number 0 also a polynomial? 0 can be expressed as 0 times x to the power of 0 or 0 times x to the power of 3 or 0 times x to the power of 5 or as a power of any variable. So, 0 is called a 0 polynomial whose power is not defined. Friends, we have come to the end of this video. So today, what have we learned? See you all in the next video. Thank you.